What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nash and today we're going to be talking about the eight basic Excel formulas everyone should know, especially if you're in finance. So I'm a huge fan of Microsoft Excel and it's probably one of the greatest things ever created when it comes to uh, the data industry or anything related to data analysis where you have to manipulate the data, which is probably going to be numbers most of the time. So it can actually make sense. So I want to go over eight formulas that I think everyone should know. These are pretty simple formulas and they're going to make your life a lot easier, especially if you have to use Microsoft Excel or if you just want to use it to, you know, help you make your life a lot easier. All right. So what I'm going to do is I have them on my phone here. So I'm going to be reading off of my phone and I'm also going to be having a little screen here with Microsoft Excel showing you how to use uh, the actual formula. So it's just going to be uh, me entering the formula into Excel and you're going to be able to see it here. All right. So the first one is going to be the sum formula. So this is going to allow you to uh, pretty much get the sum of the data that you selected, which is going to be numbers. So if you're dealing with money and you have multiple columns with different dollar amounts and you wanted the total, you can simply use the sum formula to get the total really, really fast without having to add a cell by cell manually. And uh, the next one is going to be the count formula. So pretty much what this does, maybe sometimes you don't want to get the sum. You just want to know how many cells contain a numerical value, right? So when you use uh, the count formula, what it's going to do is going to go ahead and count every cell that has a numerical value and it's going to give you uh, the total. And of course, there are different variations to these formulas that account for certain variables. But when it comes to just using the count, it, that's going to count uh, the numerical values. So if you had a group of cells where you had a numerical numerical values, but you also have uh, blank cells or you also have cells that they have text and you use that uh, this count formula, it's only going to count uh, the cells that have a uh, numerical values. And the next one is going to be the average. So this is pretty simple, self-explanatory. So it's pretty much going to go ahead and calculate the average of the selected cells. So if you have a bunch of numbers and you wanted the average, you can quickly use the average formula to get at the average of those numbers. And the next one, there's two of them. You have the max formula and the min formula. So max is short for maximum and min is short for a minimum. All right. So for the max, you can select a range of data. And uh, what it's going to do is going to pull out uh, the maximum number in that range of data. And and it's going to be the opposite for the min formula. So if you wanted to pull the smallest number in the data set, you can use uh, the min formula that's going to do that for you. And uh, the next one, we have two of them. We have the round up and the round down formula. So pretty much this is going to round up your numbers or round them down. So if you wanted to round up your numbers, you can you just use that. And if you wanted to round them down, you can use that down. So this comes in handy if you're dealing with money uh, that has a dollars and cents. So you want to be able to get the accurate number. So you might have to round up or round down depending on what you're trying to achieve. And uh, the next one is going to be the SQRT or the square root. That's pretty much what it stands for. This one is really simple. You use this to get uh, the square root root of the selected cells and as soon as you do that formula it's going to go ahead and spit out that answer it's as simple as that all right so the next one has uh, three different variations so it has the left right and mid so what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and extract a definite number of symbols or numbers or letters from a string all right, so, so a good example is let's say you have someone's name in their id and basically it is in one cell right so you have my name nash and my id is uh zero 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 right so the way the data is going to be stored you know in this cell that has my name and my id it's a text right because it's a mixture of both text and number so let's say you just wanted to grab uh, my id which is going to be the number you can use uh, the left or right formula you can say left uh, four and what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and grab the first four things that it sees coming from the left side it's going to go one two three four grab those and put them where the formula is same goes for the right you'd be doing the same thing by just coming from the right side so this comes useful when you have a lot of data that's a string or text and you'll be able to extract you can extract uh, numerical values you can extract just the text by using these uh, formulas and uh, the next one is going to be the date formula this is pretty basic basic and what it does is it, it creates a date for you a valid date so it's pretty easy to do but that is pretty much it for this video those were some of the basic excel formulas that i think everyone should know whether in finance or not i think these are great to know they will make your life a lot easier but let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos where i go over microsoft excel formulas and functions and stuff like that thank you so much for watching make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one peace